Hey guys, welcome to the Tackle Talk Wednesday episode number one live stream. I have a few guests here with me. We have Genuine. What's up, Genuine? What's up, guys? Genuine Outdoors. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your channel? Um, so what my channel is, is it's just anything outdoors and mostly fishing and stuff. I don't really have a lot of fishing videos, but I do have a lot of tackle um, reviews, product reviews, all kinds of other stuff like that. So yeah, if you guys like that kind of thing, go and subscribe to my channel. Uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say. River City Bass, and can you, you there? Yep, I'm right here, guys. Hey, how are you today? I'm doing great. Can you tell us a little bit about your channel and where you're from? Oh, I'm from Nebraska, uh, hence the name River City Bass Fishing. Uh, I'm off the coast of Missouri River. I don't know, no, I don't know if you can call it uh, the uh, river off the coast, but you know, kind of like the side of the river. That's why I got my name and uh, post videos every Monday except for last weekend. Things should be busy. Um, post daily videos called Bass Bites, just quick tip uh, videos. So, yeah. nice. nice. And I'm your host here at Stealth Outdoors. My name is Steve. And I'm actually going to put the link uh, to join this Hangout um, in the description of the video. So if you have Google Hangouts and you want to join us on air, just click this link. I'm going to do that right now. Come on down. Yeah, come on down. Let's see here if this works. Uh, let's see here. I have to go in my studio. I think I can do this still. So how's everyone doing? How much people do we have right now watching? We have two viewers right now. All right. If you would like to join the live stream, click this link if you have Google Hangouts. So the link should be there. Um, let me know. Uh, let me pause this real quick. There we go. And we have three watching. How are you guys? So, to start off, I haven't done a Tackle Talk. I usually d have done it on Tuesdays, Tackle Talk Tuesday. But I've been extremely busy with school. I'm taking summer courses and, you know, work. And I haven't gone to fish much. So, I changed it to Wednesday. I'm available Wednesday night. And it's always nice to have guests on. And they came along to doing this. So, um, also this is a Q&A, so if you're watching this and you have any questions you want to ask us, please go ahead and write them in the comments section below. Hey, Hooked Up TV, how are you doing? What's up, Hooked Up TV? If you have who hang up and you want to join, please join. The more the merrier. I like having people on here. So, River City, you said you're from Nebraska. Correct. And what kind of, you got fresh water, I guess, right? Definitely. And what's your biggest largemouth? Six pounds, five ounces. Nice, nice. How about you, Genuine? Um, I'm from Maryland, and my biggest largemouth is a seven pounds, four ounce. It's a beast. Yeah. That's epic. I'm a, I caught a six pounder, but uh, I didn't have a scale, but it definitely felt really heavy. You know, it. I didn't have a scale, so I was going to say six pounds and maybe like five something, but I know it was above four, so. It was a beast. It was in a golf course. My friend pulled an 11 pounder one time. Oh, I'm I bet that was fun. What do you catch it on? Um, I think I have one. What do you call it? On it was a lipless crank. 
Yeah, I mean... I forgot what the name is. Okay, so guys, I have an idea. I'm just gonna just throw this out to you guys. You guys tell me to think about it, alright? Okay, so, um, tomorrow I'm heading to North Dakota. It's sort of like a business trip, kind of. Not really for any fishing. But I was thinking, like, doing a vlog on the way there, stuff like that. Just kind of, like, making up, like, random fishing questions and answering them. It's probably gonna be, like, extremely long, but it's gonna be, like, daily videos. So what do y'all think about that? Like, it's just me in a car answering random fishing questions. Dude, take your fishing gear. Yeah, I could probably do that. Always take your fishing gear. All the time. Dude, if you're a true fisherman, you always have rods in your car, and you always have a book bag full of tackle. I'm telling you. Yeah, that's also true, but I'm going to uh, North Dakota. My dad's going to be like going to his customers and stuff like that, and I don't really want to be sitting at a lake in uh, North Dakota in 110 degree heat. It just doesn't sound that comfortable. Why do you fish during the day? Um, because in the mornings, that's when we travel. Ah, man. The morning's yeah. where it's at. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, you get, I, in, my, in my opinion, you get even better fishermen if you fish during the days because you really understand what the bass pattern is like and you get really good at finesse fishing. This is what he so called it on. my thought is. That 12-pounder. What is that? Um, I forgot what the name is. That looks like I think I do have one of those. I'm not gonna lie. It looks like a drink, and, uh, it looks like a bleeding one, right? Yeah. Let me see that yeah. again. Yeah, I think I definitely have one of those. Where's my mouse? Here's my mouse. Yeah, I definitely think I have one of those for sure. It's like a bleeding shad color kind of thing. Yeah. So, seven pounder on this. Crow. All right, uh, hooked up TV. Adesala says North Dakota is wildlife country and smallmouth. But I don't know. I've seen some pretty uh, people catch some really nice, uh, bit large mouse out there. Plus, pretty much large mouse all over the country. So, and plus, with a lot of bass stores we have, we pretty much catch walleye anywhere. That's awesome. I have caught a lot of walleye on just my bass stores in general, especially those little bit crankbaits, like rattle traps. Walleye completely inhale them. I've had much luck catching walleye in a river on lipless cranks, but yeah. I have caught um, smallmouth. I've caught even perch on lipless cranks. That's insane. Especially got, ribbon tails with uh, walleye. I have a lot yeah. of success with that. Dude, my friend caught this monster freaking, like, like the yellow, yellow perch I'm used to down here are, like, that small, but the one he caught was, like, this. I was... It was crazy. He caught it on. It was some jig. I don't know what it was. I've caught a few nice ones here. Let's see. I have some photos here. I caught my PB on this little Lunker Hut popping frog. That little thing. Yeah, these those little things. They. I have two of them here. These little things are crazy. So no, I would, I would throw those on spinning gear. Is that what you throw them on? Yeah, that's what I throw most of my stuff on. I only have one. Um, Abu Garcia like, um, baitcaster. Yeah, I'm I'm a real big lose fan. So, I mean, all I fish is lose. I'm trying to find that perch. I can't find it. Oh, here's my fish from Alaska. I want to get out and use these. This is my Pacific cod I caught in Alaska. I call him a spoon. Wow, dude, that's crazy. Yeah, it was insane. Y'all know what croakers are? I do not. Uh, they're like, they're trash fish. But, like, I use them when I go crabbing. I use them to take out, put them in the traps, but you can't eat them, man, I've eaten one before, those things are disgusting, they have like no flavor at all, and like when I eat my fish, I put loads of Old Bay on that thing, <clears throat> yeah, I don't really eat fish. 
I'm I going uh, next week. I'm going catfishing for dinner. I'm trying to catch I mean, dinner. <laughs> here's a beast of a perch. If you guys like perch fishing. Dang, bro. It has to be like a at least 12 inch. It was massive. It was massive. But uh, yeah. What's up, Jordan? What's up, dude? How are you? For good. Um, That's hook good. them fish. Say he might join. Okay. You say he might join nine. That'd be awesome. I'd definitely like you to join Hook Them Fish. I'm a real big supporter of his channel. He has a bunch. His he has awesome videos. So. And uh, I, think I know who that is because I think I want to give a give away from him. Yeah. In August, you know, once my school's done, I plan on taking a real long trip from uh, Baltimore. I'm in Pittsburgh, so, you know, drive down to Baltimore. My, my cousin played for them in the 90s. He, he, uh, he played for them. But, uh, you know, go to Baltimore, go to Philly, go to New Jersey, and then maybe, like, if I get a chance, hook up with some anglers over in Philly and New Jersey, like Extreme Philly Fishing or Noob Angler. Um, I'll be down here in Baltimore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we could definitely connect, do some fishing. And, uh, you know, I like, you know, fishing with new people. So, you know, you can never go wrong when you have a group of people fishing together. All right, guys, I got one question for y'all. Okay. There is no questions. What do you prefer, a liftless square bill or just a regular crankbait? Depends on the time of day. It fits around rocks. I'm throwing a square bill all day. Like my latest video, there's this one pond. I'm just, they're not big bass, but I caught a four pounder out of this pond. But all day, every day, I'm throwing square bills in this pond. And I'm using the, I'm a budget fisherman, so I'm, I buy the cheapest stuff. You know, I'll switch out the hooks. I put some BMC. Let's see if I have the hooks here. Where's those hooks at? Let me find these hooks real quick. If I, uh, you know, if I buy some cheap, like, cheap baits, cheap lures, you know, even if I buy them on eBay, I'm a big VMC guy. So I always have packs of VMC treble hooks. And I don't know if they make trailer hooks, but I need a few trailer hooks for my buzz baits because recently I've been getting just destroyed on, like, not having a trailer hook on my buzz baits. I've been getting annihilated. Um, and I think if I just own a trailer hook, I'll be, like, way better off because then I'll actually catch the fish because they, they blow up on it, and then they they don't get the hook. So, you know, trailer hook is a need. How about you guys? You guys morning fish? That's what I mostly do. Fish anytime I can. What do you use, uh, genuine? What do you use for, like, uh, like how early do you go out? Uh, like 5.30 to 9 is when I'm going out, but I stay out all day. Dude, that's a, that, I'm trying to get up earlier. Like, It's hard for me to get up. I'm usually up late, and like, I probably should get up earlier, you know, get that morning fish. and then. But, uh, you know, it's fun seeing the sun go down and, you know, throwing Zoom horny toads, getting big blow-ups on those and frogs and... Uh, hearing the frogs croak and uh, buzz baits. I love buzz baits. I'm a big fan of buzz baits now. But uh, one bait I actually want to start using is uh, whopper ploppers and popping style baits. They're genuine. I don't think so. Yeah. River City, you there? Yep. Uh, you had the mic turned off. Yeah, sorry. So, do you throw a lot of buzz baits? Uh, not really. I'm more about jig fishermen. I love jig fishing. That's pretty much all I do. I transition mainly between a jig and a crank and bait. I'm really on the only those two, or a drop shot or shaky head. I'm a huge finesse fisherman. I haven't. I threw on a drop shot one time in this really crappy pond, <laughs> and uh. I cast out, I got a snag, I threw my rod, I said. 
hell with this. <laughs> but I plan, like, if I go up to Erie when I know, like, you I mean, what's the possibility of getting a snag in Erie? You know what I mean? Not very high. I mean, there's structure underneath the water, but, like, you know, most most of the time, or, like, up in Michigan, it's the sand bottom, you know? So you could drop trout for days. So are any of you guys uh, excited for the new news about what's coming out of iCast? I haven't really been following that lately. I agree with that. All right, I'm back. You good? Yeah. Have you uh, heard any news about the iCast at all? Nah. Well, yeah, I saw it on Instagram one time. Um... So I've been following um, Tackle Warehouse recently. I'm a big Tackle Warehouse guy, and I've been getting up updates on you know the new things that are coming out at Tackle Warehouse, and they're gonna be down at ICAST. I may or may not be going down. I have to see what my schedule is. But um, so everybody knows what a Whopper Plopper is, right? I mean, I don't yeah. own one personally. But they are bass crushers. I've seen videos. I don't even know how they work. Is it just the tail that spins or what? Like, how do those work? You mean like the walking style baits? No, the whopper plopper. Is it like it has like a hooked tail? Like, is it just spin and cause commotion? It's a top water. Yeah, I know that. I understand that. But yeah, the, the tail. tail. That's no. no. The Whopper plot here. Hang on. Let's see if this works here. I know what you mean, yeah. I'm going to dual yes. screen this real quick. Hang on. Can you guys see me? Yeah. Yeah. Right, hang on. Oh, it comes up on eBay. Or comes up on Craigslist. Or what am I on? I'm on Google. God, I'm losing it today. <laughs> um, Screen share. How the hell? Hang on. Yes, the tail moves. Yeah, cancel. Let's see if this works here. I'm trying to figure out how to do this. I'm in control room. I don't want to be in control room. I hit the wrong thing. Okay. okay. All right. Can you guys see it? Yep. Hang yeah. on. What am I on here? It says Whopper Plopper or in Google. What is going on here? I'm messing with my computer here. Okay, there we go. So they're about 13 bucks, and like I was saying, so I guess the tail just moves and creates a ton of commotion, but as you, you guys can see here, where my indicator mouse is, it catches monster bass. But, oh man, check that bass out. Dang. Dang. There's different sizes. So I went to my local Dick's and they had, they had a few different sizes. I didn't know which size to get. They had the 130. I guess this is a bigger one. Oh, this is a Rivers to Sea one. I didn't know River to Sea made it. I didn't know that. I thought it was just a company called Whopper Plopper. <laughs> but hey, Stealth, I got a question for you. Yo. Hey, since you say you follow Tackle Warehouse, did you see those new two new uh, top water baits they put on there? Hang on here. On Tackle Warehouse? Yeah, it's supposed to be a top water duck and, a, and it's supposed to be a rat, too. They just came out with it. Oh, yeah, I definitely did see that. Yeah, it, it looks sweet. I don't know about the duck, though. But, uh, I mean, I've seen bassy ducks. I've seen, I've seen actually a Facebook feed where somebody had a duck and they just dropped in the water and a bass just came up and inhaled it. But, uh, I haven't seen, uh, let's see, I'm going to go on, I'm going to screen share again real quick. And like I said, I ordered that duck, but it does, they said it's a back order to, uh, to uh, what is it, September. What did you order? You, uh, the duck I was telling you about. Uh, yeah, here, I'm going to screen share again. Hang on. 
And they say it's backed up to January to get them. Oh, where'd it go? Hang on. Where'd it yeah, go? I just I just bought I just bought one of the yeah those yeah. So uh, that route looks cool. Is that I wonder? Here, let's shop now. Savage 3D Duck, nineteen dollars. Yep. Oh my god, dude, it's probably gonna like not even work. Yeah, like I said, I ordered that middle one, the wood duckling. The this one? Yeah. I would go black. Like I know a lot of people have black frogs. That black or white zoom horny toads work. I love throwing black frogs or black like. Black uh, popping baits. Yeah. You get purchase of fifty dollars of Savage gear. You get a free shirt. You get a free shirt. That's uh made in China. All right. <laughs> made in China. All right. Here we go. All right. So let's see about this. Uh, what's this? Three D rat. Well, we obviously know it's three D because it's not two D. It's not on paper. All right. <laughs> you understand that. I got a rat here. A little, uh, what's it freaking called? Is that is it the spray one? What this? Uh, uh, what rat is that? Yeah, I think that's the spray. No, that's that's the uh, jawbones. Yeah, the jawbones. Thanks, dude. Uh, I love jawbones. Let's get this little. Yeah, rat. they're like they're like two ninety nine, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, Look at this shrimp. Two. Or shrimp, yeah. I cast 2015 award winner, best hard bait. <laughs> I guess when I'm down in Florida, I know what to buy. <laughs> yep. Hundred dollars just buy ten of those, and I'll be good. Y'all know the um, like the little minnow. If you guys, do you guys do any like creek fishing at all? No, I should probably start. Well, there's this creek. It's Right next to my house, pretty much. So there is, like, there's bass in there, catfish in there, all kinds of other things, like bluegill, um, perch, and then you have, like, you know, the little minnows that are everywhere, like yeah. they're silver greenish. Yeah. Well, I went to Dick's right and found this. It's almost identical to the minnows. I threw it out, like, I've. Do it out first cast, slammed by a three pounder, and then I threw it out again. I it, it got full, like a one little one pounder, and then I threw it out again, and it hits a bluegill, <laughs> like in the eye. Dang. Yeah. So it was crazy. That ain't cool. I have a question for you, any of you guys, honestly. I, I just got that uh the new top water it's the live target uh like the sunfish is he have any of luck on those? I bought one and uh, threw it out and got one. I threw it out a bunch of times got one blow up. I threw it out the last time got a blow up and then the fish ripped it right off my line. Wow. Like the whole, all the line was all shredded up. I don't know what happened to it. I heard that bucks down the drain, drain. I heard that they have a really, really bad hookup ratio because of the pl way the plastic is, and the way the so the hooks come. You know how hooks on frogs are; they're a little bit indented, so they're weedless. Like this. Yeah, is that a spro or is that a live target? It's a jawbone. Jawbone. They're all like that, like the slunker hut ones, the same way. So they're like, heard, they don't get. Tangled up on anything. I heard the um, sunfish are just because I was throwing one around in a small pond with my friend, and like they would follow it. I mean, you could kind of walk the dog, but it's like it's chaos. You can't really control it. And then when you cast it, sometimes it's up, sometimes it's flipped over. You know what I mean? Like casting in the wind with that thing would be bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was out today. It's always flipped upside down. I mean, it has decent reviews, I guess. But I didn't buy one, and I didn't get one in my Lucky Tack box yet. What's that? It is huge jerk bait. It's for, um, I'm pretty sure it's for musky. 
Is that sand on it, or did you paint it? It's, it's so old that the paint's wearing off. Nice. Yeah, it's like 10 years old. Dang. Never used it. <laughs> so, guys, hey, um, if you guys are watching this and you have any questions or you want to join us on the live stream, the link is in the description. So please click that link. And be more than welcome to join us. I got All some right. news here. I got hey, some Stealth. news here. Well, I got I some news. Viewer. Yeah, that's all right. We'll get Next. more. Don't worry about it. I, I'm going to share the video on all my um, Facebook groups also. So, And you guys should share it on your Facebook I groups, Instagram groups, um, Twitter groups. I'm not on Twitter. I don't know tweeting, <laughs> but I'm not good at it. But, you know, share the video. I'll try. Right. So, Tech Warehouse iCast 2016 video. River to Sea, who make the Whopper Plopper, actually came out with a double plopper buzz bait. Oh, wow. And it looks so wee. I'm telling you. I'm really impressed with the thing, the way it looks. I don't know if I could bring it up on here. Let me see if I can bring it up on Google real quick. It is sweet. Let's see here. It's on their website. Hopefully it is because the thing is just insane looking. There it is. Hang on. Let me share this. Uh, screen share. Google Hangouts. Start screen share. Can you guys... No, yeah, yeah, no, so here's the Whopper Plopper. Hang on. This is it right here. <laughs> Dang. Dude, it's so... It's still no longer available. <laughs> yeah. But that's it. That's it. And it looks epic. I'm sure it will cause you nothing. They also came out with um, mini... Whopper. Oh, I have my notes here. It has so this is it. It has mini Whopper Plopper blades. Really amazing action and available for pre-order, but I guess it's not up on the website. They will be showing it at iCast this year. So if I go down there, I will get video for you guys and put it up ASAP. Get uh, interviews with all the guys. Um. Let's see here. They have some new baits also. They have, uh, here's your Whopper Ploppers in all your new colors. I like this Slimer here. I bet that'd be good color in uh, the rivers. Um, they have the uh, Mad Gobble. Is everything going to be like BBLE? Oh, man, here's this Monroe. Here's the Biggie. Oh, yeah. I actually did an interview with Ishman Run. He was talking about his uh, River to Sea hard baits, and he names all of his hard baits after famous rappers. He's a real Biggie Smalls fan. One of them, <laughs> one of them he calls Big Papa. Yeah. <laughs> favorite. That's my favorite. Here's some interesting looking frogs. Check these out. Look at this color, this dark color. I've never seen anything like this before. Has a real weird head to it. Um, here's the new lipless. I really like this color right here. I actually got a Yozori. It's like a hologram uh, lipless crank. It's a quarter ounce. It's pretty sick. And then your swim baits. I don't like that bluegill color. That doesn't look realistic enough. Uh, and then here's the Rover. This is their walk the dog style bait with the feather tail. Must be pretty long since it has three trebles. I wonder what size trebles they use on there. And then they I have their, uh, their other swim jigs, swim, swim baits. Well, that's pretty sweet. Hey, I got a question for you guys. Go. Wait, it says you're no yeah. longer presenting. Anyways, uh, what is your guys' favorite summertime baits to catch bass on? Jig. Okay. 
Um, probably topwater frogs. I'm with you on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Mostly right. I really like uh. <coughs> yes. I would go with a yumdinger wacky rig. But That's your favorite. In the morning, okay. So here's my goals. Here's, here's how I run the day. So in the morning, I figure they'll be in the shallows, all right? The bass will be in the shallows. They'll be chasing bait. They'll be feeding up in the morning, whatever. Throw a buzz bait, throw a frog. Two favorites. If that doesn't work, I'll throw a square bill. Um, right now, with top water, it's just like the best time to use them is like late June and like right now to early August, I found to be the best time to use them. Uh, mostly, like, the little... Here, let me get them out. I've seen them before. Walker Hut popping frogs. Yeah. And sometimes I'll throw this big toad out there uh, from Jawborn. But, yeah, like, that's the best times to use them. No, you throw those little ones on spinning gear, right? Because, like, if I use the baitcaster, I'd get a backlash... So. Yeah, I use a spinning reel because they don't they don't weigh enough to use the baitcaster. Yeah, so they'll just get blown by the wind easily. That's the thing with some of my square bills and some of my hard baits. I, I just throw them on you know my spinning gear because trying to use a baitcaster and they're so light. Like some of the cranks, the vicious cranks are just so light that I'll get birds in that like like instantly. You know, so I just use this right here. Oh yeah, what's that? Um, it's some cheap little. It's an ugly. The rod is an ugly stick. And it's um, real. Is like I'm pretty sure it's a Shakespeare. Yeah, Shakespeare. Well, at least you know the rod will never break. I don't know about the real. I haven't had good luck with the Shakespeare. So I switched to. Um, I have a loose carbon fire. Uh huh. Excuse me. I have a loose carbon fire speed spin. I got for twenty dollars on clearance, and then I have an Abba Garcia Cardinal S forty, and then I have a Abba Garcia Cardinal STX forty. Thank you to Jordan. You're welcome. Real. Um, let's see here. I got some new news, other news too. If you guys are into Daiwa reels, this was on the video too. Let's see this real quick. Hey, it comes right up. Wonder if it'll come up on their website. Oh, they got. Ooh. I gotta share this to you guys. This is pretty epic. Screen share. Screen share. Can you? Are you guys? Can you guys see this? Yep. All right, hang on. We're not in Japan. We're in, <laughs> we're in America. Oh, we could be in Russia. Whoa. America. America. Why are they called North America? They should call it United States of America. Oh, look at this. I like one of them hats. Some hats are cool. Oh, my God. They should have it on here. I don't know if... Oh, uh, they have a ton of new gear. Holy crap. So, the ones I wanted to talk about were... The Daiwa Steez SVTW is the new baitcaster they just came out with. I know uh, Lady Bass absolutely loves Daiwa, so if she's watching this, uh, you know, check it out. Here's the Steez lineup. Ooh, I don't know, man. Those dudes look pretty slick. I don't know what the numbers mean. But here's, I guess I'll take this one. It's a left-handed <laughs> model. The numbers are just, I'm pretty sure they're just, yeah, it's just the model names. Uh, they're all six, six three seven one. You know your generic, uh, your generic, uh, you know gear ratios. Five point five ounces is, you know, it's pretty light. I mean, I'm a big Luz fan, and you can get Luz. I know Luz has a few ultra light reels. that are like five ounces, and, but uh. Let's see here. So I guess it would probably be like on these reels, it'd be, if you can see where my cursor is, 
and they're only 11 pounds max drag. My LFS is only 10, and, you know, that would do. But my lose MB is 14 pound. But I guess this would, if you throw a 12 pound test, I guess it would be 120 yards of 12 pound test. But, uh, and they're 13 bearings, too. But they're also $500. <laughs> you can afford it, Steve. I can never see me spending $500 on that reel. I mean, that's great that they're $500, but I could buy the most expensive lose and have $300 left over. Yeah. I could build as the Quite honestly, I have the lose tournament MG, and it's my favorite reel. It's like pretty much all I ever use. It's just one of the greatest reels I have, in my opinion. Yeah, that's why I have. Here's their Zillion HD Hyperspeed 7.3. That's not really hyperspeed. That's not really fast at all. Uh, this is a 9-ball bearing T-wing system. I, that's why I don't understand. I don't understand their T-wing system. I've used them, and I, I really I didn't like it. I mean, I like the... If you know about Luz, you know their BB-1 has a really cool... It's a there's a gap between their the spool and where the the ring is yep. the, uh, line goes through, and the way they have it, it's like an oval, and I like that. I mean, I'm accustomed to that. I have a BB one. I just don't have the pro. I just have the normal BB one. Yeah. So, Daiwa here has Magna Seal ball bearings, which personally, I'm gonna switch out. All my bearings on my lose reels to Boca bearings because they're orange seal bearings. You can run them dry and they'll cast far. Their T-wing system and their free floating spool. Let's see here. See, these are 7.6 ounces. My LFS is 6 ounces, I think. But the max drag is 15.4 ounces. So, like... And I, I don't even know how much. It doesn't have a price here. But, oh, hey, Stealth. Yo. Hey, do you know your buddy at Gator? You know that guy that works there, right? Yeah, he's probably going to watch us. He says he's going to get these. stickers, right? Yeah, he says he has them. He's waiting for you to get them. All right, I'll be over. And then also... Does anyone know how to get these? What's that? Do you guys want to get these? Yeah, Steve, don't you have those? Hang on. These stickers? Like, I don't know how to act like get a free t-shirt. Like, I went on the website, but it was pretty confusing. And plus, around the time. So, pretty much check around on the website. I have a few loose shirts. Um, where my, you know what? I moved my boxes in uh, all my tackle area. I'm going to start doing my live streams in my garage. So, I have <laughs> like, the boat and the tackle behind me. Uh, uh, but, but uh, anyways, what I was saying, there, there was this guy I was talking to at Gainer Mind. He said, this reel's is $500, but what he was saying was that thing automatically drags and sets to the bait you tie on. I don't know if that's true, but your buddy at Gander is telling me about that, that he have it. Here, I'll tell you which one to buy. This is Deal. one. I'm going to tell you which one to buy. It's the All the YouTubers have this, except for me. Like, all the... <laughs> Let's see here. And they all complain about it, though. Do you all have crawfish down there? Down your waters? Yeah. Here. I'm going to find this real quick. I'm pretty sure we do. But, like, in only some areas. And wow. they're not the red colored, either. They're like... We have some in Nebraska, and they have blue craw uh, blue craw claws. It's actually pretty sweet. Yeah. There's this one I've seen. It was gray. Gray. Yeah, they look weird. Like, there was a bunch of red, and then there was this one gray one in there. That's crazy. Um, I know we have a few... It must, it must have been a... Go ahead, sorry. Awkward silence. The gray crawfish are most likely females. That's how they get their color. And uh, Males are the best color, and the biggest cost to get the mates. That's how they work. We have gray ones around here, I think. I mean, I haven't seen them in a while, so, I mean. If you have so, crawfish, I would suggest using this colored red. crankbait. It's like a red-ish 
has it has a little like gill slit. I don't know why it has that. But That's pretty cool. Yeah. Brown chop makes it, uh, pretty sweet ones too, in my opinion. Yeah, that three pack I was telling you got about like the five ninety nine three pack. Mm-hmm. It was that one. This one. Careful. I actually have a pretty, uh, pretty big announcement for you guys for my YouTube, for my YouTube channel. We have a yeah. green screen technology coming on pretty soon. Nice. Yeah, pretty much all our videos are gonna be pretty sweet and like a different background every single time. It's, it's gonna be pretty legit. That's a sick color right there. I like that bra. This one. This one. This one. This one. Sexy shad style color. Yeah, this I. Crazy. Shiny thing. I was from that crumb. I hey guys, uh, I think I'm gonna have to jump off right now. All right, cool man. Thank you for joining us. Everyone, go check out his channel, um, River City Bassin. Bass fishing. Right? Bass fishing. Okay. River yeah, City you're fishing. This is my bad, dude. Go check him out. He's an awesome dude. He has some awesome videos. Go check him out. Uh, subscribe to him and thank you for coming on, dude. Yep, I apologize for the get off. So see you later. Yep, bye. All right, see you later. So that reel I was talking about before, um, Jordan. Here, let me screen yeah. share this real okay. quick. Can you guys, can you guys see this? It's getting there. Uh, yeah, it's loading up. And it's at, yeah, there it is. It's called. This one right here, if you can see my cursor, right here. Yeah, I can see it. We're going to click on that one. Five ninety nine. dollars $600. Ouch. $600. But the technology is insane. <laughs> I'll never go back to Shimano. That's what they said about my computer, then it crashed, like, once I got it. <laughs> but, but it's a super finesse because guess what? You can only use 10-pound line and... The max line capacity is 120 yards. You can only use 10 pound. Yeah. What? Yep. I've had a bass snap 10 pound line. Oh, oh, and like don't forget. That. Don't forget, you get your tackle warehouse reel cover for your $600 reel. For 2.99. For 2.99. <laughs> yeah. They're always trying to get you with everything. Dang it. <laughs> like the shirts in, made in Japan. Yeah. Or in America. Alright, so they're actually lose since I'm such a big fan of lose. I oh. wanna get I really do want to get the BB1 Pro soon. Hang on. We're, they just came out with a new one. Hang on, where is it? Right there. Here's the super duty wide spool they're coming out with. So sick. What's no that's not a bad price though. Dude. Look, watch this, ready? So if you guys are watching this, we're going to go on eBay. We're going to type in, I'm going to show you guys a real efficient way to get any reel cheaper than the marked price. So we're going to go, let's see here. I'm going to go, I'm going to look up this lose tournament. MB to the left right here, if you can see my cursor, 139, mm -hmm. okay? 139 on their website. We're going to go on to Google or eBay, and you guys can see I already looked up some loos. <laughs> he loves him some loos. Yeah, he does. That's all he has. That's all I have, too, as well, so I have no complaints. Loos tournament MB. $111, brand new, right to your door. That's right-handed, though. All right, if you're left-handed, hang on. Let me. Where's the? Uh... I use right. I'm right-handed, so it'll be good for me. So that's thirty dollars cheaper than your normal from the warehouse. I mean, obviously there's some for one thirty-nine. How do I? They they screwed this all up here. Hang on. How do I? Uh, how do I get high to low here? Hang on. Here. Oh, 
Price. Me. Get a price. Where's price at? You just exit out of it. <laughs> so we're gonna go. We're gonna go like one. One thirty. We're gonna go like. Fifty. Don't put fifty in. No, there's not any for fifty. I can guarantee you that. I'm just saying. You never know. The one eleven. This is used uh, right here for one fifteen. I wouldn't buy a used real because you never know how also, they used Also, they it. have they have refurbished too. Oh, what? What's going on over there, Steve? I don't know. This I'm not. I always use it on my uh, on my Your phone. Phone. I don't know what the heck's going on here. Here's your LFS. I'm not too big. I'm not too big fan on the LFS, but it's your MB LFS. That's what you have. Yeah, I'm, I wasn't talking about that one. It's still an LFS. That's true. Yeah. Here, 108. Boom. Shipped right to your door if you're a right-handed reeler. 108. Good flipping speed. It's an 8 3 to 1 gear ratio. Oh, wow. Extremely fast. 108 and free shipping. Limited quality oh, yeah. available. I see your next upgrade there, Steve. <laughs> free shipping. There's about like six of them. Yeah. I'm not a righty. I'm a lefty. So. Let's see here. Uh, here's the left-handed one right here. This is the one I was looking at. Isn't that, the one, isn't that the one I have? No. Oh, dang. It's only 108. Oh, I'm going to buy this when I get off the live stream. <laughs> it's, it, I'm all right, all right. Yep. Yep. Just going to get out when I'm done with the live stream. I don't know who's calling the house, but I'm not answering that. So. Wait, Steve. Isn't that the one that I have, the 7-5 to 1? Or is that, do I have the 6-4 to 1? Well, you have the lose LFS, which is the regular ninety-nine dollar one, which you paid full price. I only paid sixty bucks for, and then you have your MB, which is you know that really nice one that I like, which is your seven-five to one that yeah. you upgrade on. I took that. I took that off like a month ago. No, -uh, we just went fishing the other day, Jordan. <laughs> Not really. Yeah, really. Here's one that's brand new for one fourteen. Buy it now and free shipping. So you know, there's always options. Um, there's always options, and you can, you can always find new deal, new good deals on new bait casters. Like a spell here. Have you all heard of big bite baits like the Cinco? They're so cheap. I have a look. Look at this thing. All my soul plastic. Well, that's not even all of them. There's some down there. I'm not going to do it. Alright. You see them sizzling deals there, Steve? Yeah, hang on. <laughs> uh, I don't know why this keeps coming up. The uh... Here's a baitcaster. Here's a Lose LFS. How much is this? Brand new Lose LFS. Works. It's not working. I think you might have to bid on that. Like Eighty-three bucks. It's cheaper than what I paid. Exactly. You can always find good deals. Here's your BB One HL. It's right-handed model. One fifty-nine. I mean, there's the sponsored ones like this one right here, sponsored, and this one right here, sponsored. So those are going to be full prices. All right, guys. Um, this Lose Tournament Pro G, which I'm a big fan of, it has, this thing is so sick. It has the hook keeper, and it has the carbon fiber handle. Um, it's like four ounces. It's extremely, extremely light. It's 199 regular price. I don't know what the price is here. 153 So, you're getting a $50 discount if you buy it on eBay with free shipping. It's a really good deal. So, guys, there's deals out there. You just got to find them. Like, I was actually looking at this one. Um, where's the most expensive one? Let me find the most expensive one. Here's the most expensive one right here, $279. That's a regular price. Guy got five out of five stars, 15 views a day. Yeah. I bet this is $229. Sounds fine. 
I'll be right back. All right, cool, man. Free shipping. So those deals there, guys, just got to, you know, just got to find them. Let's see here. We have Midwest problem. Fishing Bros said, what's up? What's up, not, Midwest Fishing? Not a whole of a lot. But, yeah, guys, I just wanted to show you those good deals that, you know, anytime that, you know, Regular price uh, reels or rods, you know, there's always other options such as, uh, you know, Tackle Warehouse has some sales, but eBay, I feel, is the best. Or Craigslist, I've picked up, God, how many reels and rods did I pick up in the last week? About 10? <laughs> yeah. I'm a budget buyer, so the first rod I got was a KVD 6'6". Six Medium heavy, I got for like ten bucks. Dad never used it. Then the second rod I got was a Lose TP1 Speed Stick. It has golf grips. Oh man, I love it. Yep. It's a seven through medium heavy, perfect crankback model. And the guy had a Lose Tournament MG on it, which it's a discontinued model. Which their Lose MB is their revised version of their MG, I think at least. But uh, it's a fantastic reel. I got that set up for 100 And then I met my friend's brother-in-law, and I picked up a Ducket Ghost, which is a heavy 7.6. Um, picked up Ducket Ghost. I picked up the Micro Magic Pro, the, and also three spinning rods, I was going to say reels. Three spinning rods okay. since my Abbe Garcia Veritas, which I love dearly. The bottom guy broke, so I have to send that back. So I picked up three St. Croix Mojo Bass rods for – I picked up those five rods for like 200 bucks. Not and I got, I got a hell of a deal. They're all over $100 brand new. So, you know, there's deals out there. And it's kind of funny. I didn't know that – the guy was my friend's brother-in-law till I started talking about who I knew and who he knew because I told him I'm from Monroeville here. So, but yeah, you know, check your local Craigslist. Check your local back page. Check your local um, go. Craigslist. Craigslist is the way to go, I think at least. Do you all have a lot of uh, soft plastics? Oh, I do. Most of them. I have so much I do not have room for in my tackle bag. Sounds so like a garage, use, Steve. I have to use this little thing and just attach it to there. I can't see it. No, oh, just this. And then put them through the little holes. I made Smart a video idea. on it. I, I, made a, I made a video on it on my channel. I'll have to check that out, dude. So, do we have any questions at all? Hey, guys, if uh, you're watching this, please ask some questions. We'd all like to answer them on the panel. Okay, guys, I got a question for y'all. Do you all use spinning bait, spinner baits? Like... Sometimes. All depends on the position. If you guys use spinning baits, I would not really use this color, but... Use these as a little kind of trailer, kind of. Trailers. We can't see it. Uh, it's Gary, Gary Yamanoto, swim baits. Used them as a trailer. And, like, I've used them... I've used that color on this right here. It's a green and yellow and orange swim bait. And I got this green pumpkin... Colored swim baits right here. Green swim is the way to go. Yeah, just use these on this, dude. I had so many blow ups on that those things. I've caught I've caught. Last time I used these, I caught three 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 pounders, and a four pounder. Within two hours. Nice. And the rest were nothing to keep. Like mean, nothing like to be happy about. He's like not yeah. even. They even hit one pound. Yeah, <laughs> Sounds like a couple of what I was catching today. <laughs> yeah, them dinks, bro. 
Now, with your spinner baits, do you alter the skirts? Yeah, I shorten the skirts in some places. Like, I, don't, I haven't done them to this these yet. I didn't know my walk to the white one. Uh, can you fix your camera? <clears throat> can you fix your camera possibly? Um, not sure. Right. Yeah, that'd be cool. Cause I can't see anything you're showing me. All right, like right here. There All you have to do is get. I don't know if I have them, but I have these like scissors. I have a Leatherman, right? So it's like has a bunch of tools on it, and all you have to do is take the scissors. I have little scissors to use, but or clip like the skirt in like different places. Clip it in different like links, and yeah. Cause I learned that you know, especially with some of the buzz baits. If you don't ha if you don't cut the skirts, they come through the water and they're just like stuck together. Yeah, they like, all just clamp up and like twirl around each other. Yeah, there's no yeah. action. So I cut mine like cut short, cut a little bit, cut short, cut a little bit, cut short, cut a little bit. In some and places, I just leave it the same. Yeah. To get it all different. So that's how I do that at least. Yeah. So, question: Do you, you guys ever use chatter baits too much, or no? Uh, no, not really. It all depends. If it's super muddy and I don't get anything on jigs, I'll throw in the chatter bait so I can get some commotion in the water. Yeah. Like if it's super duper, like uh, like chocolate milk, I'll throw a black and blue chatter bait. Nice. Get off the phone, Steve. You're in a live stream. I'm trying to get a few more people <laughs> on here. I'm trying my Pittsburgh accent is coming through. I was watching Pittsburgh Dad, and it was the funniest thing. He's so funny. Pittsburgh accent's not really working too well out for you. <laughs> if you want to just check out Pittsburgh Dad. He's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm about to die. About you want, are you on your phone? Yeah, because my computer is all messed up. They told me it'll be, it'll last forever. I got it a week later, just done. It's at Best Buy right now, getting fixed. Did you buy it used or what kind of computer? It was an HP. See, I got a Mac here, and I've never had an issue yet. I mean, sometimes like if I push it with too many things, it kind of freezes. But other than that, like. It works I've pretty. Had, I've had three Macs, and they've all broke. Jeez. Not for, not because of the computer itself, because I like to throw things when I get mad. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm with you on that one. Nice. Steve knows that. Like this little yeah. here. Let me show you this. This little hole in my roof. <laughs> That was a PlayStation controller. <laughs> oh, so funny. I've broken a few PS3 controllers. I have a whole room full of them. Oh, I know. I had, I had to buy this thing right here. If you can see that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All of mine were broken, so I just went out and bought this little cheap little piece of crap. That's why you want to go with the PS4. Nah, bro, I'm not giving up my PS3 yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll so stay you, you need to upgrade the PS4, bro. I was thinking about it. I already have, I got one a couple days ago. I have you one too. You have like Xbox. Xbox. I have that too. I don't like Xbox. Don't like it. Bro, going to be like one of them 45-year-old guys that still games. <laughs> Uh, I got a 2KD. I got a 2KD. <laughs> VSAT, bro. I got a VSAT. Talking Shit. crap on like them 13 year old kids, man. I'll be in stealth or out playing. I ain't fishing. He's going to be inside. <laughs> See, you can look at the compared to those two controllers. Two totally different. Hang on. I'm playing with my troubles. 
Oh, you are. Playing with my treble hot. That is stuff. I got a funny story to tell you after this live stream. Oh, my friend's son got hooked with a treble hook the other day. <laughs> I oh, haven't man. been that lucky yet, but I'm waiting for the day. Like, I've had a few baits hit me on my sunglasses and stuff, like, come out of the water. But I haven't been lucky enough to, you know, make a new piercing. Yeah, Steve, <laughs> hit me in the neck with a jig. Oh, it's just a jig. My, I got hit with the crankbait, and it hit me. I had glasses on, so it hit my glasses. Lucky. And then it got, it got hooked on my hat, so it was just hanging there for a little while. Nice. This kid right here is a crazy angler, let me tell you. He just whips shit, and he doesn't care who he hits. The only thing is, if, if you're fishing around me, you have to watch out when I set the hook, because... That thing's coming out the water if you don't. <laughs> I even I don't know if it's a dink or not. I just yeah, I said it like I said it like I want to like destroy something. So it takes all its anger out on the fish. That's right. I mean, That's something's you. flying out the water. You know. Is that how you get your anger out? That's right. That's right. <laughs> no comment. No comment. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> so, but uh, I haven't I, gone fishing since uh Friday. I kind of after Friday, I kind of like I played hockey Wednesday, and then I tore up my leg. So like, went to the doctor uh, after I went fishing. Well, kind of the ER because I couldn't move my muscle like in my left leg and my thigh. So they said it was like a like a pulled muscle, and then they gave me like pain medicine and all that, and it feels kind of better today. I went to huh? shan't tear a ligament. <laughs> I mean, I thought I did because I swear to God, I've never had this much pain in my life. It felt like it was like waves of pain, where it was like like somebody's just stabbing a knife in you and like dragging you up your thigh. Like it hurts so bad. <laughs> It hurts so bad. Have you, uh, ever, have you ever like fished with somebody who has no clue what they're doing, and every time they go to set it up, they hit you with their rod, like right in the face? Uh, this kid, like he, he tries to act like he's a big shot, and when he goes out there, Steve, he's bad shit nuts. Like we're we're just, I'm just sitting there reeling stuff in. He's over here. Jerking the thing, he's throwing his rod out in the water, going for it. I'm like, why did I bring you to these things? I took him on this tournament one time because he wouldn't stop bugging me about it. And what's up, guys? This dude, this kid took his crankbait, hooked it in my shirt, and thought he had a fish and was ripping it. <laughs> like, I, I swear he's stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like me once in a while. And then he tried to use these Senkos, and man. Senkos, yeah. He tried to use the Senko, he was, all he was doing is jerking it <laughs> down. He would like lift it up like six feet, and every time he'd lift it up, the freaking Senko pops out the water, yeah. goes back in. And Steve. he tries to act like he's the best. And <laughs> oh, that's Steve, hundred percent, right there. Not really. I know what I'm doing. I taught you everything about fishing, so <laughs> I'm not sure about that. I'm um, pretty sure he he wouldn't like lose the reels. He'd probably stick with his like. What, what? Josh, I bought twenty five dollar reels and rods. Shut shut up. <laughs> the little Barbie reels. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me tell you. How <laughs> Dude, I got it! I got it! I'm gonna do a Barbie rod challenge. What like, you mean, like TV and Flint Master? I'm doing it! I'm doing it! I'm writing it down. You're gonna be Steve's gonna Steve when he's gonna use the little uh little Barbie rod. He's gonna act like AP and freak out. Yeah. Oh, Spider-Man rods! <laughs> I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna do it! Little Yak! I'm gonna do a little Yak, little rod. 
challenge. Like one of those kid yaks. Like, yes, I know what you mean. Like AP was using. Dude, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm oh, doing geez. it. I got it. I can't. I, I don't want to see this. Hopefully a muskie doesn't come up and like knock me off my yak. <laughs> and break your Barbie here on in half. It'll turn into Jeremy Wade episode. <laughs> <laughs> What's that called? Monster? Oh my god, what's that called? What's that? River Monsters. What the? Yeah, okay. Jeremy so, Wade. The river Monsters. That guy's oh. voice makes you want to go to sleep. Uh-huh. <laughs> so that dude's voice. I fell, I fall asleep every time I'm, listening, I'm watching that TV show. Oh, uh, Jeremy Wade. Uh, yeah, y'all know um, Monster Fish? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Ted Bundy? I like that show. Yeah, I like that show. Monster Fish, Cooking Monsters, or whatever that show is called. I know what you're talking about, yeah. Netflix. Mm-hmm. I'm a big fan of Bill Dance. Bill I hope Dance. I'm in the iCast. Alright, Monster Fish. The one, the one fisherman that I can relate to stealth is AP. <laughs> AP's my dude, dude. AP's the man. <laughs> He's hilarious. He freaks out on the littlest things. Oh, he's the best. I'm Catching like Monsters. Some... Who? It's called Catching Monsters. Nice. TV show as well. I hope he watches this live stream because, AP, you're the dude. I love your channel. I love Fishing in the West. I love... Who else do I love? I love Andrew Flair. Except... Yeah. Did you Andrew see when Flair? AP saw a rod at John B? Do you guys like one rod, one reel? No comment. <laughs> you know that already. How about you? You like them, genuine? Um, I guess. Like, I ain't got no problems with them. These videos aren't the funniest thing yeah. ever. I don't know how he gets so. I don't know how he got so big. I really yeah. like. I could do the. I mean, I don't do the whole edit stuff. I'm getting into that, but I mean, I got chest mount. You know what I mean? You know how I got so many subscribers? How? I was saying, you know how he gets all those subscribers? He probably buys them off eBay. Exactly. 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 <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I'm not. I'm not trying to disrespect AP, but I think Lunkers is a little bit better. Mm-hmm. You're talking. Apples the oranges, dude. Of course, Lunker's TV is better. Hey guys, I'm gonna have to uh, leave. I'm sorry, but uh, I have three percent left. All right, dude. Hey, I'm gonna do another live stream, pro- possibly next Wednesday. So if you'd like to join, please do, man. Yeah, I'll be there. All right, thank you. So guys, if you guys are watching this, since I'm gonna share this on my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I don't have Twitter, but all my other stuff, <laughs> check out Genuine Outdoors. He has an awesome channel, and uh, thank you for coming on, dude. No problem. Uh, thanks for letting me. Of course, man. Enjoy your night. See you later. So, he just leaves us two. Yeah, but, uh, you know, I haven't been fishing in a minute, but I do enjoy watching a lot of YouTube channels. Um, informative fishermen. Um, I like him. I like Matt Frazier. I'm a big fan of him. Probably see this on my, uh, on my channel. And, uh, man, these sunglasses are dirty. Hang on. You need to take them off. You already have, like, five of them. There you go. <laughs> go back to the crown. From no. Clean. I got a my nose. Ugh. But, um, so, you know, I watch YouTube channels a lot. I really like learning about fishing. I'm going to be going out um, in a few weeks once my leg heals because I can't really walk very well. Um, I'm currently on crutches since this injury and uh, have to get some uh, therapy three times a week. So after I get all better and I have to get three times a week and then I think that's for like four or five, six weeks. Hopefully I heal up really fast so I can get back out in the water. Um, but, uh, you know, once I get back out there, I'm going to do 
I have a tripod, so I might do different angles and do different edits and, you know, putting music and putting, like, slideshows and do all cool cool stuff for the channel. And um, I might even change up the name of the channel. I don't know yet. I've been bouncing around some ideas in my head, some names in my head. So if you're watching this, um, you know, if you have an idea for a fishing YouTube channel name, you know, shoot me a message on my Facebook page, which is Stealth Outdoors TV, or my Instagram, which is also Stealth Outdoors TV, or leave a comment on the YouTube channel. And, uh, you know, if you come up with a name, you know, just shoot me. And if you think it's cool, let me know. But, uh, you know, I enjoy watching a lot of YouTube videos, um, and I enjoy making YouTube videos. It's it's cool. You know, it's cool to, uh, you know, be in the community of YouTube and meeting people from all around the world. And uh, you learn so much. You can learn so much from a YouTube video, from anything, anything that you want to learn. YouTube is the answer. If we need to learn math or algebra or you know, English or something, even school related, like I had issues with my English and, you know, YouTube did. And I mean, Google's cool, but YouTube, it's somebody showing you how to excel in whatever you're doing. So I like watching for people that I look up to are Lunkers TV and informative fishermen and I don't know if I really look up to John B and Andrew Flair and all them because they're my age. But I learn, you know. I, I like the pros. I like Mike Iaconelli. I love his channel. And KVD, he just won another a tournament, which is – he's a pro. He's the man. And anything you need to know about crankbaits, just KVD is the answer. He knows everything. So You're missing one. Oh, and Aaron Martins knows a lot about drop shots and finesse fishing. You're forgetting your buddy, Ish Monroe. And Ish Monroe is the frog master. Yeah, boy. I haven't been on his channel in a few weeks, so you know I gotta yeah. keep updated with him. But uh, yeah, you know there's YouTube videos and they help me and. That's what made me want to start a YouTube channel to help other people fishing. And, yeah. So, with this channel, I know I keep rambling, but with this channel, I have a few updates. I'm going to be doing a few different playlists. So, the first playlist, I'm going to do local ponds. And I'm just going to put in some videos from local ponds I hit up recently and uh, around the area. I'm in Pittsburgh here, so... And I'm going to do that. I'm going to do a review playlist. And I'm going to start doing some reviews since I really can't go out and fish since I injured my leg. So I'm going to do reviews on, you know, some soft plastics, some hard baits, probably my rods and my reels that I have. Um, and, yeah, and probably a few other uh, – probably some vlogs like if I go on a road trip, um, my – Math class I'm taking ends July 28th. So after that, I have some big plans. I'm going to Kentucky for like five days. Then I'm going to take a road trip from Pittsburgh to Baltimore to Philly to New Jersey, probably up to New York, and I'll probably drive all the way to Erie. I'll probably just drive straight <laughs> after that. So. Crazy dude. There's a storm. There's a storm, so if the lights go out, the power goes out, you're the lights. Really okay, crazy. so my mom just warned me that there's a tornado <laughs> or a hurricane or no, something. No, it's a storm. It's a storm. storm. Just, just in case the power goes out. <sighs> yeah, that happened one time. I was actually doing a live stream, and my power went out, and I was peeing. But, you know, transformer it, blue. Oh, I remember I was on that with you. Yeah, I was bombed. I was bombed. And everybody was asking, oh, where did Stealth go? Where did Stealth yeah. go? And I told them, I was like, oh, Transformer blew out. Yeah, I didn't ditch you guys. I didn't ditch you guys. But Better. anyways, it's uh, – this doesn't tell the time. 9.30. Oh, wow. I've been on here for an hour 30. But um, thank you guys again for watching the live stream. I'm going to end it here. And if you guys have any questions – 
Um, you can ask them on my Instagram page, my Facebook page. Ask them in the comments below or on any of my videos. I respond the day of. And thank you, Jordan, for joining me. You're most welcome. Hopefully after my leg gets better, we can go fishing soon. That's no question about it. And um, let's see here. Oh, subscribe to the channel. Um, yeah, please subscribe to the channel. I mean, I like I like um, you know, that people like my videos. I like that people can connect to my channel and like what I'm teaching them or showing them and how I'm fishing and you know, anything to help you guys. So thank you again for uh, watching this episode of Stealth Outdoors. I'm planning on doing another live stream next Wednesday or Monday. Um, I'll keep you updated on that video over the weekend. And, yeah. So thank you guys again for watching. It's been a great night, and I hope you guys have a great night too. And tight lines, keep on fishing. Thanks, Jordan. Oh, you're welcome, Steve. All right. See you guys.